Hello and welcome to Mini Supply. In this video, we will talk about what to do when your pump stalls or is humming. Your pump is made of two plates. Your outer plate is a thin plate and then your second plate is the part that your red muffler or silencer sits on. You will need an impact drill with attaching Allen keys or a set of Allen keys, a chisel, hammer, and gloves. When your pump stalls, you will hear a humming noise. That means your screws are too tight or your graphite pallets are damaged. Take your impact drill with Allen key attachment or Allen key and remove all the screws from your first plate. If your first plate doesn't remove easily, use your hammer and chisel to separate it from your second plate. Inside of your pump, you will notice your graphite pallets inside of a cylinder block. The cylinder block is off center with a small gap on top and a large gap on the bottom. This is normal. Remove all of your graphite pallets and inspect for any damage such as cracks and breaks. Use your finger and ensure that the cylinder block rotates freely. Now is a good time to clean your pump. Use a Q-tip to clean the inside of the graphite pallet slots and also use a rag to clean around the inside of your pump. If you have an air compressor, you can use the compressed air to blow out any debris. After cleaning the inside of your pump, turn on your motor and spray your rotating cylinder with a little WD-40. This will lessen the risk of getting rust in your pump and also ensure a smooth rotation with your cylinder block. Now you're ready to put your graphite pallets back into the graphite pallet slots. When you're putting your graphite pallets back into their slots, make sure that the curved edge of your graphite pallet is going towards the top of the graphite pallet slot. The curve on the graphite pallet should continue to circle with the rotating cylinder block. You will know if the graphite pallet is placed incorrectly. On the top of the slot, where the graphite should continue to circle with the cylinder block, you will notice a triangle instead. This is incorrect. Remove the graphite pallet and turn it so that it will continue to circle with the rotating cylinder block. Screw your first plate back onto your pump. Be careful not to over tighten your screws. They only need to be hand tight. Turn on your machine and make sure it is working properly. And that's all for this video. Please visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mini Supply. We have many videos for many common questions that you may have. Thanks for watching.